Hi guys, this is Addison at Fort Stewart, and um, this is a news video number two. So if you have not watched number one, don't, don't, don't watch this. Go back, go watch number one. <laughs> okay, so let's start where we left off. Um, what I did and what you should have done is added um, some some news stories and at least one per category. Okay. So now. Let me get our list over here. We've added our news stories. Um, and now we're going to design our home page. Or, well, the news home page. Okay, so let's visit. Um, now, I, you know, I, I, this is just what I think you should do. But if, if you don't, you know, I mean, this is all you guys, you know? Like, this is... This is however you want it to be. Okay. All right, we got nothing. <laughs> All right. So, uh, the first thing we want to do, you know, let's let's add um, a page title. So we kind of need that. in the header area and I want to call it frontline news okay all right oh uh, my main this is supposed to be a right sidebar hold on let me let me make this a right sidebar really quick um, but like I said you you don't have to make yours a right sidebar it's just totally up to you Okay. Okay, now that's better. Okay, so we go back to our design. Oh, whoops. Uh, and we said, okay, the, for the first main stuff, I want to show my news stories, my regular news stories. Okay. Now, all of these are going to be page lists. Um, they're just going to be page lists with different topics. Okay. So, we're going to go to add content, and we're going to go to page list, and this is where it gets fun. This is where you, you know, you, you can do what you want, you know, um, and you're really not going to know what you need until it, you really start filling up all of your stories. Um, so, number of pages to display, so that's, that's how many entries I want here. Uh, I'm just going to go with three for right now. Um, but I think I think ours has like seven or something. Um, and then we want show news stories, page type news stories. And then we want a custom topic, news topics. And I want this one to be news, just news, okay? Um, now, um, filter by public date. Y you won't have to do that. As, well, at least when you um, uh, first start off because, I mean, it's updated so much. You know, you won't have to worry about that. So we just do show all. Uh, no filters. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about pagination. Location, everywhere. I I'm just going to go ahead and change this to um, beneath this page. Okay. Um, and then include all child pages oh no wait don't include all child pages okay now the order um i think what is best is the most recently modified first and the way i the reason i say that is like okay you know let's say uh, um, we have a news story about housing and housing promises that they're going to fix the barracks locks and then a month later they do fix the the barracks locks well, you can go, you don't have to make a new page for that. You can just edit that story and, you know, type in update. Barracks locks are fixed. You know, everything in the world is wonderful. Um, and so if you put it as most recently modified first, then once you modify it and once you change it, it'll come up in the top again. So, you know, that, that's what I think. I mean, it, it's up to you. Okay. Now this is what we want it to look like. We don't, no, we don't want an RSS feed. 
Um, we do want to include the page name because that's like the title. Um, and we do want to include a page description. However, um, when it says display truncated description, um, that means, you see how I've got like little ellipses here? Okay. I only show 150 characters here, okay? And on these, you're going to want to show even less um, because, number one, they're, they're supposed to be just little teasers, okay? They're supposed to be just, hey, give you enough information to want to click on this. But also, um, you know, all of your descriptions will be different lengths. So it, it just kind of gives some, some nice standardization and continuity to your page list, especially when you have so many. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cap off. Uh, my descriptions at 150 characters okay um, and I do I, I display the page date uh, the public page date because I mean I think that I think it, it gives relevance to it I, I just you know hey this was published on this date and you look how you know um, uh, fancy our, our, our website is okay uh, for my new main news story I do want to do a thumbnail image um, you know I wanted to show images probably not on the little ones but definitely on this one uh, a link different than the page name no title of the list no message to display I'll say no stories no stories at this time <laughs> at this time okay Okay, here we go. All right, so I've only got two right now. I've only got two news, main news stories. Um, so there's there's my list. Oh, I didn't put a description for the Washington one. Oh, well, <laughs> sorry guys. Okay, now, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a little text block here, you know, and I want it to say news from, hold on, give it a second. Uh huh. It's thinking. There it goes. Ha. Ah. Okay. So I'm gonna do news from Stuart Hunter. Um, just because I, I think that that it'll look nice, and I'm gonna make it heading three. Okay. Okay. So I did that. Um, and now with that, every time you add a new page. And it's like the news story. It will automatically show up here. So cool. Okay. So let's do sports now. Um, and I want that in the right sidebar. Um, and I, I do want to do sports because I want to show you guys something, especially when you have the right sidebar. So we go to the page list again. Okay. Um, and I'm going to show, I'm going to show like four here. Um, you know, just because they'll be shorter. I do want news stories. And I do want it to be a custom topic. And I want it to be sports. Okay. Show all. No other filters. No. No. Beneath this page. And I want it most recently modified first. I do want a page name. Um, and I do want a page description, but these, I'm going to cap it off at 100 characters because, I mean, I've got less space than I'm working with. Um, so, um, yes, include the date. Um, I don't want a thumbnail image on this one. It just, it just probably won't look very good. Okay. Add. Okay. Now, um, so I've only got one underneath there, but theoretically there would be up to four. Um, now... I personally feel like when you have a right sidebar and you've got like, you know, we've got stories here and we've got stories here. I, I like to separate that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a wrapper around this one just to just to alert the user. Hey, this is a different section of of my page. OK, so I'm going to call it sports and I'm going to call it gray. I'm going to do a gray box. I'm going to do another wrapper close sports okay um, so you, you guys know what that will look like it, it you know it'll turn it gray with a little yellow thing on the top but 
like I said, I really, I just, I mean, I really like it. I think I, I, it just, especially when you have a right sidebar, it just needs to be a little different. Oh, wait, this is supposed to be sports. And I'm going to make that heading three because I like heading three. Okay. All right. So I did the sports. And now I want health, chaplain, and community down here. So I'm going to add a layout. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to do the same thing as here, but not with the wrappers. So, you know, I'll, I'll do a page list with the custom topic of, you know, chaplain, and then another one of community, and another one here. Um, and, you know, this is really up to you. Like, if um, you can do all kinds of things here. Like, I know you can do, um, you could add a core news feed in the middle. That would look really nice. Uh, let me see. I'm on the IEW development site, so um, I've never really actually played around with it. Does this block work? Let's see. I don't know if, I, don't, I can't, I don't remember if it works or not. Oh, it's because I'm on development. Um, but yeah, you could put a core news here. Um, you could do all kinds of things. Like the, the possibilities are endless. However, the last thing we want to do is we do want to put a link somewhere to all news. Now we can put it down here. Or, I mean, if someone's looking for like a specific news page, they'll probably go here. So I'm going to do see, oh, see all news. Ah. Um, and I am going to make that bold and underline, and I'm going to link it to my archive page. Okay. Save. Exit mode. Publish changes. Okay. So I'm getting there. Very cool. And you, I mean, you guys would know the, the three columns would be underneath here. Okay. So uh, last thing I need to do before I publish everything is I need to put all of my pages or my news on uh, my archive page. Okay. Okay. And this time I'm going to do a page list. Um, now, I, I've got plenty of room for thumbnails, but you guys will see this, this, your news will, will grow very quickly. So um, I'm not going to put anything right here. I'm just going to, I'm going to leave it blank because that if, if I leave it blank, it will show all. Okay. Um, and I want news stories, no filtering, uh, no, no filtering in a, or after today. I'm sorry. Um, um, I want it to show one day in the future. Um, so that's what I'm, what I'm saying here is, hey, like show, show all everything that's after today, because theoretically they would have come from the news homepage, you know, so they're not going to want to see all this again. Okay. You know, feature pages, all that kind of stuff, location, everywhere. Leave it at everywhere. And for this one, I'm going to also do most recently modified first. Page name, page description. I'm going to go ahead and make this 150. And I do want the date. Um, and like I said, I'm not going to do the thumbnail image. It's it, It'll take forever for this page to load if it... Um, if I put the thumbnail images in there. Okay. Um, so this is what it shows. Okay. And it'll literally just show everything. Everything that we've made will show right here. Okay. Now, um, you can do this as a page list. You know, it's totally up to you. Um, we have like links to our printed stuff. So, you know, when we upload the PDF for, you know, April or whatever, 
uh, once April passes, we upload that to this page, okay? So our, our page is, our archive page is like a list of PDFs um, instead of this. But um, when you're starting out, I, I would go with this for right now. You can always change it. Um, and then you can put, you know, um, I think maybe a service data box here with like the information and how to get a hold of the newspaper and stuff would be really nice. A nice touch, a little nice touch. Okay. All right. And so um, let's say I'm ready to go. I, I've uploaded my no news and I've, I've done all of this. Um, you know, and like I said, you're going to have to play around with everything because, you know, you might have a lot of news here, on, but very short news. So you can do another topic here. It's totally up to you. But basically, you're just making page lists. That's all it is. Um, so um, to make it live, all we do is we go back to our Frontline News Home. And we go to our Attributes. And we stop excluding it from Nav. Stop excluding it from page lists, include it in the search index, and then sub pages. Now, while we're here, let's add a description. The, oops, let's all caps. The frontline, newspaper, Fort Stewart, Hunter, your source. For all things in, I don't know, in town. I would have thought of a better one, I promise, guys. <laughs> okay, so uh, description, meta title. Now, our, our page name is, is the Frontline newspaper, okay? Um, the meta title, which is what shows up in Google, should be um, Stuart Hunter News, and then frontline newspaper you know, or something along those lines okay um, just because you know people are gonna want to see the word news in the, the meta title and then the meta description should be really similar to the description okay I'll just I'm just gonna copy and paste that for right now okay so now I know what you're thinking you know, oh my gosh, do I have to put all of those page titles and meta descriptions like for SEO in my news pages? But you don't because in the composer, it's already all filled out for you. Okay. So, I mean, if you wanted to add the descriptions, you know, to, to this, you could, you know, but I mean, the, the titles kind of give it away. <laughs> Um, but yeah, all of your metadata is already there, ready to go. Um, okay, so we designed our news homepage and all that kind of stuff. Um, I, I'm not sure how long I am, but um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the, the, the video off now and we'll do the photo banner and then the extras in the next video. Yeah. Okay, guys, uh, tune in for video three.